It's been interesting because there is a parallel of Prospera. It is a very meta theatrical play. There is Prospera who is organising the action and literally telling spirits to perform like this, to costume like this. So it's very theatrical. So Prospera is very much a director or a, a master puppeteer or something. So th there is that parallel between the character and what I am doing. I think the great thing about this process is that because it's so collaborative, it's never been a case of this is your job, you go and do it, and, and once you're done, come and show us what you've done. It's always been a case of working as a team and trying to find solutions to things um, collaboratively. So um, The story of The Tempest is not a short one. <laughs> Um, but basically it revolves around the premise that Prospero, or Prospero in the original, uh, and his baby daughter have been abandoned on an island by his brother and the king. So from a very early, early stage, one of the things Holly said before I was involved in puppets was that she wanted different, different characters to have puppets that worked in different ways. So um, Stefano and Trinculo, our puppets, are, uh, our puppets for those characters are uh, what we've referred to as full body puppets. So they have a head with a body that you put your hand in and they become a character that way. Um, and I actually find those, those puppets the most easy to animate because they, as soon as you put your arm in the head and the, heart and the hand, they are automatically, the human brain sort of just kind of justifies them and, and you, you easily very much accept that they are human. And even though they don't look human, they're very stylized in the way they've been made. Um, Sebastian, uh, Sebastian and Antonio, our other characters are they are in they are just heads the puppets and they're enlarged. Um, so part of the challenge there was trying to create an entire body in the mind of the audience when all they're actually presented with a head. And they worked mainly through like playing and the workshops that we did really helped to mm -hmm. like bring puppets to life and make us realise what what needs to be done to, mm -hmm. to bring a puppet life. And what makes them work is the puppeteer. It's like, what they put into it and how right. they focus. <clears throat> focus is very interesting with puppets, I suppose, isn't it? Mm. It vanished strangely! <laughs> oh!